weighted steps. Starts with a backward progressive. The, prog the progressive cannot be executed with a push off the hill. It just won't happen. You can push off the hill and feel like you're gaining speed and at the same time staying on the curve. So you want to push off your edges, either an inside edge or an outside edge. And both time your foot has to go slightly outside of the circle to get the tension between the blade and the floor, which is going to translate into the push, which is going to get you to a greater speed. And the same thing has to happen here. You want to feel how your outside edge digs into the floor, or into the ice, sorry, and as it leaves the floor, that tension, that pressure, creates the speed. And your upper body's twist into the circle is going to help you to keep the straight line from your head to your heel. So you won't have to stick your hips out to keep yourself over your foot. So ladies, execute it, they are progressive. Then they have an outside edge. They push onto an outside edge, keeping that same position, facing the circle. Immediately after, the, the leg bends, feet start to get, foot start to get down to your standing leg. Your upper body changes the twist, preparing us to step onto an outside swinger. And then we push onto an inside edge, sending our foot slightly outside of the circle, fully extending our leg. And the second the push is completed and your foot is out, you start transferring your twist. You start letting your upper body untwist as your leg goes down into the swinger and you slightly open your upper body outside of the circle, 14 step is a very quick dance. So you have very little time to get from where your outside edge was, which is almost to the center of the ice, back to the wall. So that outside edge has to be very aggressive and very deep. As a result, we need to help from our upper body to get our foot there. In that very little period of time. So that's why we push facing the circle and then the second the push is completed we let our upper body open up and twist outside of the circle as our leg goes behind us, turns out and our heel gets pulled towards the opposite shoulder which helps us to stay on an outside edge. Then we bring our feet together and we have progressive again. We finish that progressive, we step on outside edge Next step is the step forward onto the cross behind. So we bend our three legs, knee turning it out. We keep ourselves in the same place in relation to the space around us, meaning that we want to pay attention to the circle we are still on. And then when we're just about to push, we turn our head and we step forward with our left shoulder guiding us. Once we are there, we bend our knee and we have to execute the cross behind. For that we have to wrap the three legs ankle around the standing legs ankle and then slide it down heel first, keeping it by our standing leg. Why do we slide it down heel first? So we don't catch the topic when our foot is there. We want to catch the heel, keeping our toe up. So we finished our cross behind, our left hand is in front, and we're going to go into the crossover, keeping that same position. Once we finish that crossover, we need to bend our knee and turn our, turn our knee out, preparing for the outside mohawk. And just, just like an inside mohawk for men, your foot has to go to the instep, to the middle of your other foot. So your heel has to touch the middle of your standing leg's foot as your knees are turned out. That way your blade of your next of your future standing leg is ready to be placed on an outside edge backwards, on a backward outside edge. So you finish your last crossover, you push without moving your upper body in relation to the space around you, with the other words your left hand is in front, then you bend your knee, you slightly turn your head so you look straight outside of the circle. Your, toe, your heel touches the middle of your standing leg's foot, your knee is turned out. Then you put your foot down, 
and as you pick the other foot up, you take it to the line which is parallel with your standing leg. So when your foot leaves the floor, it has to get to the sixth position. That means that your feet are parallel, just one foot is off the floor. And as that happens, you need to face outside of the circle, then you push onto an inside edge, slightly crossing your legs, which is going to help you to push off an outside edge, sending your blade onto an inside. And then when you bring your feet together, you transfer your body to the other side. So now let's take it from the beginning. You pre bend over your left foot, you twist inside of your circle. You push off an inside, you push off an outside, you push off an inside edge, stepping onto an outside. You complete that curve. You bring your feet together, you turn your head, you change your twist, you push onto an outside swing roll facing the circle, the second your foot leaves the floor, your upper body starts to untwist, going to the other side, which is outside of the circle, and as your free leg passes your standing leg, it turns out, and your free leg's heel is being pulled towards the opposite shoulder. So it stays right over the tracing, helping you to keep that outside edge going. Then you bring your feet together, you turn your head, and then you go through the progressive, and then outside edge falling that progressive, then you bend your knee, you turn it out, and when you're just about to step, you turn your head, and you push forward, following your left hand, then you bend your knee, you're up one ankle around the other, then you slide it down, heel first, the other foot leaves the floor, leg extends, then you bring your feet together, and you get ready for the progressive, and then following outside moha. When you enter that mohawk, you have your left hand in front, you bend your right knee, you turn it out, you turn your head slightly to the right, looking outside of the circle, your heel touches the middle of your foot, then you put your foot down, you bring your feet together, your upper body stays facing outside of the circle, then you push onto an inside edge, keeping that position, and then you bring your feet together, and you transfer your upper body inside of the circle, getting ready for the next part. So that completes our 14th step.